What's going on guys? I've got a 2007 Dodge Charger and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the three fuses for the cooling fan as well as the three relays for the fan. So we're going to get to them by lifting up on this piece here. We'll start with the fuses. They are J-Case fuses. This 40 amp, this 60 amp, and this 50 amp all provide power for the cooling fan. You can look down through the plastic and see if the fuse is blown or not. And if you want to remove the fuse, you just grab it gently with needle nose, wiggle it from side to side while you pull up, and the fuse will eventually walk itself out. There are three relays. This is known as the radiator relay. This is the high-low relay, and that's the high relay. So this one comes on and controls and just makes the fans come on. These are for more for the speed of how quickly the motor will operate. Uh, my favorite way to test relays is to tap on them. So you, you can tap on the relay, you can wiggle it a little bit. Sometimes relays get stuck. And if you tap on it or wiggle it, and then you hear the fan come on, then you know that the relay is probably no good and should be replaced. Uh, another troubleshooting step you can do is you can remove the uh, relay and you can swap in another relay. So you can, if you have other relays of this type, you can swap them in. I would not advise to swap in this one. This is an important relay called the ASD relay, so you should leave that alone. You can also manually send power to the fans. If you remove the relay and you connect these two pins together, here and here, you will be manually sending power to the fan. So you can do that. That's a way to bypass the relay and the computer control. Uh, one other step you can do at the fan itself, you can tap on the fan motor. You can try to turn the fan by hand and see if it's seized or not. And you can also disconnect the electrical connector to the fan and see if you're getting a power and a ground. So all of those steps may help you troubleshoot the cooling fans. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice for troubleshooting the cooling fans on your Dodge Charger.